Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to our Rational Numbers Unit, our lesson on prime factorization. If you're following along with your Glencoe Course 2 textbook, it is lesson um, 4 1 in there, so chapter 4, lesson 1. The targets are as follows that by the end of this, you will be able to identify numbers as prime or composite. You will be able to use prime factorization to determine the factors of whole numbers, and you can express a whole number as a product of prime factors with exponents. So, um, using our information from Unit 2 and past information as we build on what we already know. So prime or composite numbers. This isn't new to you, but it is part of your vocabulary to know a prime number is a whole number greater than 1 that has exactly two factors, 1 and itself. A composite number is a whole number greater than 1 that has more than two factors. So these are examples of whole numbers. These are factors. Factors are numbers used to multiply together to get to another number. And so 2, is 3, 5, and 7, these are all examples of prime numbers because their factors are only 1 and itself. Composite numbers, some examples are 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Because they have more than two factors, they go beyond 1 and itself. I can multiply 1 times 4, 2 times 2 and so on and so forth. These are all listed factors of those numbers. 0 and 1 are considered neither prime nor composite because 0 has many factors. You could do 0 times any number and you get 0. And 1 can only be multiplied by itself. Some good vocabulary. Maybe have a variation of that written down. Now let's try to identify whether the numbers are prime or composite. So I look at 17 and I try to think of factors of 17. I know it's 1 and 17 multiplied together. It's not even, so it's not by 2. 3 doesn't go into it, 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, 6 doesn't, 7 doesn't, 8 doesn't, 9, and now I'm more than half. So since 1 and 17 are the only factors, this number is prime. 12 has factors of 1 and 12, 2, and 6, 3, and 4. So 12 has 6 different factors, so it's more than just the number and, a, and 1, so this is a composite number. So you have to think of your divisibility rules, and you're going to have a divisibility chart to put into your um, notebook, and that will be helpful to reference as we go on. So now you try. Is 11 prime or composite? Its only factors are 1 and 11, so it's prime. Factors of 15 are 1 times 15, 3 times 5, so that's composite. 24 has factors of 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, Six, oops, four, rather, comes first, times six. I'm trying to think of any more. I don't think so. So that is also composite because it has many factors more than one in itself. Now, using those factors, using prime and composite numbers and knowing another more vocabulary, is that every composite number can be written as a product of prime numbers. So last time we wrote... Um, product of the same factor, so we wrote 2 to the third power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. This is also the same as 8, so 8 can be written any of those ways. So the product of a number written in primes is called prime factorization, so we're bringing it, factoring it to find all of its prime numbers. And so we can use a factor tree to find the prime factorization. The following two factor trees show the prime factorization of 60. So notice the trees look differently, but the factors are the same. They're just in a different order. And we would write it least to greatest like this. So we would write our 2, then our 3, then our 5, or like this without the exponents. And it just turned out differently because they started with different factors. This side started with 6 times 10, whereas this one started with 12 times 5. Both are fine factors to start with. So you're going to see that yours might look a little different than mine. 
but our end result should be the same. So someone else might have chose also 3 times 20 or 4 times 15. Those would have been fine as well. So there's going to be two methods that I show you. One is a factor tree and one is dividing by primes. So you can choose which one you like best. So a factor tree to find the prime factorization of 24. So I put 24 here and I factor down. So I pick two numbers that multiply to 24. I might pick 2 and 12. Someone else might have picked 4 and 6. Someone else might have picked 3 and 8. Okay, so you want to pick other than 1. We're trying to pick the primes. So since 2 is prime, I'm done there and I don't continue. 12 is not simplified yet for its prime numbers. So I go 2 times 6. 2 is prime. 6 then, its factors are 2 and 3. So when I'm done and I have all those prime numbers, that means I've factored it all the way to its primes. So this is the same as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or, since I have repeated multiplication of 2's here, that's 2 to the 3rd times 3. You can always check. You can always work backwards um, or work forwards to see that this would end up to be 24 if you went through order of operations and multiplied. And it would. 8 times 3 would be 24. The other way is divide, division of primes, division, dividing by prime numbers. So you kind of do an upside down division symbol, division house. And I put my 24 in there and I just pick the smallest prime number and I just keep dividing. So the smallest would be 2. So 2 goes into 24 12 times. And I divide again. Dividing that by 2, I get 6. Dividing that by 2, I get 3. The smallest prime number into 3 is 3, and I end up with just 1 left over. So notice the numbers I divided by would be the numbers I multiply together to get there. So I again ended up with 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is the same as 2 to the third power times 3. So either way, I'm going to have you try. Um, you pick which ones you'd want to try, and then I will do both methods to see if you feel comfortable with either one. So give those a try. For 18, I think I'm just going to pick the tree. So I pick 2 times 9. 2 is prime, so it's done. 9's factors are 3 and 3. And those are prime. So this is 2 times 3 times 3, or 2 times 3 to the second power. Okay. 28. So I'm going to do division of primes here. So 28. The smallest prime is 2. And that goes in there 14. 2 goes in there again for 7. 7's prime. So I end up with 1. So my factors here are 2 times 2 times 7, or 2 squared times 7. One more, 16. Pick whichever method you think is best. 2 times 8. 2 times 4. And 2 times 2. So this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or since that is a product of the same factor, we can write that in exponential form as a power of 2 to the 4th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you feel good about that. If not, again, go back, rewind, try again. Um, but now we're going to look at factoring algebraic expressions, remembering these are variables involved. So if we have 6ab, that really is the same as 6 times a times b. Well, we don't know what a and b are, so they're done. We could just factor this out to be, this is the same as 2 times 3 times a times b. Done, 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 done. So this factored is 2 times 3 times a times b. Now you try. Simple as that. So I might bring this down. This is the same as 2 times 9xy, that's prime, 
3 times 3. And then my x and my y. So I have 2 times 3 squared times x times y. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be ready to share your learning and your questions. Try your best on the um, check quiz questions and rewatch what you need to. Look at the examples in the book or go on the personal tutors and other resources online textbook. Khan Academy is good too. See you soon.